Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Although we have discussed the exact problem in our live bi-weekly 119 contest discussion. And also, if you had not watched these videos earlier, like two pointers, exact basics and proper intuition, and also yesterday's videos, then I will highly recommend go and watch these videos. I'll say, okay, watch this video. And if you feel like, go and watch this video, which tells you the entire intuition template of two pointers and how to use it. Why I'm saying all this? Because this problem is exactly the same as that of yesterday's problem. So I would not be going into much deep. Okay, I will going into, but not into much deep of the entire intuition part and stuff, because you can easily get to that from these videos. Like firstly, very basic video. And then for a practice, this video, which is exactly the same as that of this video. Now, it simply says that we have to find the length of the longest subarray with at most k frequency. So we will be given an array nums and we are given an integer k. The frequency of an element x is the number of times it occurs. You for sure know what's the frequency and an array array is good if the frequency of each element in the array is less than or equal to k. So one very beautiful way, again, I will be needing to have an array or basically I should say I should have an portion of the array which have the frequency of all the elements, okay, like frequency of 1, frequency of 2, frequency of 3, all the elements and the frequency should be less than or equal to k. And we have to return the length of the longest good sub array. So one very basic way for us is, as we have discussed in this video also, that, okay, go on to all these sub arrays, we have n square, and then from that find the ones which are good and take the maximum length. So it will be O of n square to go on to all these sub arrays. Finding the frequency will be O of n for that specific sub array, so it will be O of n cube. But then we have figured out that we can easily keep on counting the frequency of the next subarray with the previous subarray by just adding a another element. Again, if you don't understand this, please go and watch this video. So that will be O of n square. Now uh, we see that okay, a subarray. We know what a subarray is. We have to just find the length of the longest a good subarray. Now, what is something unique about again? Make sure your task is to like to grab the frequency of the elements and your task is to get the longest subarray. Now, what is the what is the property if I take the frequency of this entire array? So, okay, if I take one, okay, for short, whenever we take when we, whenever we talk about frequencies, we talk about taking a hash map or an unordered map. So I'll take a hash map and and keep track of the frequency of the elements. Okay, one occurring one. So map of frequency, map of one is one. Okay, one occurred one time. Okay, two occurs. So I just grab, okay, now map of two, which means frequency of two is now one. Again, three occurred. So map of three, again, just adding of frequency. Okay, three has now occurred as one more time. So you can see that frequency are just keeping on adding up. Like, okay, I have, I have, I have this. Now, Aaron, what's the benefit of this? Now, you can see what is the pattern of the frequencies which we have got because ultimately we are concerned about the frequencies. What is the pattern of frequency which you have got? The part of frequency is it is always increasing. So, no matter what, the frequencies are always increasing. In this kind of pattern, we can for sure easily apply our two pointers because we know one fact that as we keep on going in the right, frequency will keep on increasing. And if you want to decrease the frequency, we will have to shift to the left so you can see if we have a window we have pointers okay j pointer and i pointer we can simply move j pointer so as to increase the frequency and then if we see okay frequency has increased quite a lot then we can decrease by using my i pointer now if you had watched these we like this video in which we have made a standard tamp like extended standard template that our j will always keep on moving but our i will only move when i have exceeded the condition now condition is the frequency if the frequency has become more than j then i will have to shrink my i now let's see how the code will look like again we will simply have two pointers j and i in the very beginning i will have to maintain okay and what, like what, I say, what I say by maintain, I will maintain what is the frequency what I have got so far. So, okay, uh, map of one is now one. Again, as I go on land onto any new element, that will, that will actually, that will actually incur in the frequency increase. So, as standard, while, how we have a value, while j is less than n, because i and j are initially at the zeroth index. So, while j is less than n, then ultimately we have a j plus plus. Now, as soon as I land onto any specific j, I have to increase its frequency. So, I'll simply say that map of nums of i just increase the frequency by one. 
now okay uh, you will simply keep on moving okay simply keep on moving now okay your map of two will actually become one again you have to increase your answer also answer was what maximum of answer comma what answer is your maximum sub array length for this let's say if this is the sub array right now the maximum sub array length this j minus i plus one so i will have to say that bro maximum sub array length i have to add, get the answer so answer is equals to maximum of answer comma j minus i plus one that is also what we have been always doing always doing in these problems also but iron why have you written it a bit lower why not here because bro i have assumed I have assumed that this window length is okay. This window length is okay. What if it is not? What if it is not? Then I have to shrink the window length. So that shrinking part I will write here. Because I, again, I have moved J. I am I am for sure moving J. But I have to also make sure that okay, okay, I have moved J. What if after moving this J, my condition has not has become unsatisfied, which means my my frequency has become more than j then i will have to shrink until it becomes less than or equal to j so what i will do again i will just simply show you that how things can be done so so far as you can see answer is j again 0 1 answer is 2 so far so uh, maximum answer is so far 2 okay great now simply move on your j again i move on my j map of 3 again that is 1 you have seen your k was a 2 your K was a 2. So again, until unless anything exceeds 2, I am okay with it. I am okay with it. So I'll just increase my J again. Okay. Because at every step, J will keep on increasing. Sorry. So my map of 1 will become a 2. Again, J will increase. My map of 2 will become a 2. Again, J will increase. My map of 3 will become a 2. Again, J will increase. Now, okay. As soon as my J will increase, my map of 1 will become a 3. Oh, map of 1 became a 3. So this map of nums of i became a 3. Now, that's not good that's not good simply shrink shrink with the help of i so i'll simply say while my map of nums okay nums of i if it is more than my k then we'll keep on shrinking and also we just put in a condition that okay when we say when we say we shrink we always keep on moving our i forward so for sure if we are moving our i forward then we will have to make sure that our i should also be less than equal to our j which means i should not go beyond j because j is further pointer and i is before pointer so it should be like this at max like this and it can go on keep on moving so I'll say while this loop is there, I'll simply so do one thing. Okay, I know I have to move my i. So I will actually move next. But before that, please decrease the frequency at which i was there. So I'll just say map of nums of i minus minus. Now this will be in the this specific while loop. So what will happen? I will have to move my i. I if I move my i, my i will be here. But okay, before moving, if when your i was here, I first decrease the frequency. So frequency becomes two and then i moved here but oh as soon as my i moved my frequency of one became a two and i wanted that exact same thing okay i'm good now i can simply again keep on moving my j as i move my j again ah you see what happened okay frequency of two will become a three again i have to move my i okay it's firstly what's your i is there decrease the frequency and then move your i and i, I then again you can see it became a same thing and you can see you have to keep updating updating the answer uh, while my i was here and j was here my answer was six so my six would have been updated as soon as it moved here but then if again my i has to shrink so i has to shrink again the answer you can see is actually six and again my j moved in the next i will also have to move in the next again my answer is six so the maximum sub array length is actually by six and that is the answer Cool. let's see the code it's pretty exactly same exactly same as what we have written exact here and simply return the answer so code is pretty simple so we will simply say that while my j is less than my n simply increase the frequency of your map of nums of j and then ultimately j plus plus that is a standard technique which we have been following now in this portion you will have to shrink or make your i Thumb. so while your nums of like map of nums of j is more than more than your k you have to simply keep on shrinking so and again this condition so that you have your i and j i should be before or equal to your j now you will simply decrease the frequency of i and also move the i pointer next and then keep on doing until your frequency becomes less than or equal to k because that is primarily what you want something condition to be satisfied 
and uh, again uh, you will have to update your answer parallelly by saying okay what's the current window length current current valid window length and ultimately return the answer by this you can simply see that i can solve it in o of n time because of sliding window it is o of n time and space is also o of n because it is a map map can contain at max n distinct values because i have n and my numbers also from 1 to 19 so i can have at max n distinct n distinct values and that's the reason my space also will be o of n and that is the most optimal solution for this answer cool thank you goodbye take care bye bye and again Please go and watch these videos. Bye-bye.